Hi there, I'm Christian, and in this PC Answers tutorial, I'm going to show you how to better manage fonts uh, in Windows. Uh, and one of the first things you can do is actually speed up uh, the startup of your machine uh, by getting rid of uh, some fonts that you don't actually use. And what you can do is go to a uh, control panel, appearance and personalization, and you'll find something called the fonts uh, folder. And if you open that, it will show you a complete list of your Windows system fonts. Now, as you can see, there's a, a huge list here, um, but there's actually very, very few of these uh, that are commonly found in, in most of the things you use for uh, in Windows. So what you can do is actually uh, the ones you don't want, you can actually get hold of and actually move to a different folder. Um, so it won't load uh, when Windows starts because every single one of these here in this folder uh, loads uh, when you start Windows. So to uh, simply speed up, you just have to reduce the, the number that are available to you. Uh, as you can see, uh, Arial, Arial Black, these, these common uh, fonts you find in Word, but there's some very, very obscure ones too that you simply might uh, never use. Uh, so you can just drag them away uh, from this folder uh, to uh, help uh, speed up your system slightly. But as you can see, it's simply just a folder. It's a very, very basic uh, way of doing that and not really the best way to manage your fonts. So we're going to use a free program, which is available on your video disk, uh, called AMP Font Viewer. I'm just going to uh, launch that. And what this actually does, which the Windows folder, of course, doesn't do, is actually allow you to preview, uh, load and install uh, fonts in a much better way. So what we get here is a list of your installed fonts. So these are the ones actually in that uh, Windows uh, fonts folder. They are a complete list uh, of them. Uh, and you can get a preview of what they look like, which is extremely handy because, uh, of course, in the Windows fonts folder, you can't do that. It just shows you a name. So here we are. Arial is a common uh, font, but there are some uh, very different ones, as you can see. Um, so just by browsing through there, you can actually find the uh, the font you want uh, much more effectively. Uh, and there's also not installed fonts. And this is a place where you can actually uh, actually find something you've downloaded. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to find a completely new font. We're going to go to, uh, this is AMP uh, Font View. This is where actually where you get that piece of software, ampsoft.net, but it is on your uh, video disk. Um, and there are many fonts websites, and this is one called fonts500.com. And it's a great place to uh, get some uh, new fonts for your machine so you can use in, in Word and other things like that. I've just selected one here. I'm just going to save that uh, file. There we are. It's called Locky Cola. It's the Coca-Cola sort of uh, writing. I'll close that down. And now we have to go back into AMP Font Viewer. And under the Not Installed tabs, this is where you can get it. But it's actually a zip file, so you'll have to actually... Uh, unzip that first so let's just locate it and under our downloads here locky code there we are and we can uh, extract that and there we are that's the the, the, the font needed so let's go back to uh, mp font viewer and we just need to uh, locate And it seems that due to the folder structure here, it can't actually find the um, downloads uh, folder. So what we're going to have to do is actually copy the font to the desktop is probably the easiest way. It's this uh, local disk uh, folder that couldn't uh, downloads folder couldn't find. So now if we go back to the desktop, there we are, lockycola.ttf. It's uh, true type fonts. That's what .ttf stands for. Um, so we can cl click that, and now we get a uh, a preview of, of that coca-cola style font and what it, that looks like and we're happy with that so we're just going to click uh, install selected uh, fonts and now we get a, uh, a confirmation window click yes so that now should be in my installed fonts let's just try and find it locky cola there we are it's now uh, correctly uh, installed within my complete fonts uh, list uh, if i go back to the not installed fonts uh, list again um, what I clicked was when I selected a uh, Locky Cola. I then clicked it in Install uh, Selected Font. That puts it in the Fonts Library. But there is an option below here: uh, Install Fonts Temporarily. And this is simply uh, another option, really. Um, it basically installs the font uh, and allows you to uh, sort of see that and manipulate it within AMP Font Viewer only. So as soon as you close AMP Font Viewer, 
the program, um, that font actually won't be available in other things. So that's how to uh, find uh, uh, a new font and actually get that into uh, your Windows system. So that might be how to uh, manage your fonts, but that's no real use in terms of uh, using them. So what we're going to do is just uh, minimize AMP Font Viewer. Um, it's really something like Microsoft Word or OpenOffice, the uh, writer, the actual word processor. This is where you're really going to start using your fonts. So this would be a complete fonts list, and we should find that uh, Locky Cola, the one we have downloaded, uh, is in here. There we are. Uh, and so we can begin typing. We just write PC answers just make that uh, much much bigger there we are that's what uh, PC answers looks like in the Locky Cola font and now that is permanently installed and will be available in either OpenOffice uh, or Microsoft uh, Word